very excited about this next segment because we are talking grains and here from the Ontario grain farmer is McKenna Ross. Now we are not just talking grains, we're also talking beer and whiskey. Yes, we're talking about products that are made from grain. Um, so whiskey, um, I have a bottle here of Collingwood whiskey mm -hmm. and it uses this corn here. Okay. This is field corn and this is what you're going to see in the fields about 98% right. of the time really? um, across the province. Okay. Um, it's used for many other things but today we're just going to talk about whiskey. Fantastic. And then the other item I have here is a wit or wheat beer. Okay. Um, so instead of your traditional barley base, um, mm -hmm. they're using wheat to make okay. that malt. And that's yeah. what we have here. And it's sort of that same uh, soft white wheat um, that we use for your cereal. Oh, So a little bit of a different use. It's, it's interesting to see, you know, what goes into it as well because you don't typically think of grains being exactly. in your liquor or in your exactly. beer. Exactly. And it's a lot of alcohol is grain based. Right. Um, so the first drink we're making is called the Collingwood Whiskey Re Summer Refresher. Um, and so we're going to use refresher. some raspberries and a mm. cranberry. Um, so we'll put some ice in here. Okay. And I'll let you grab those raspberries for Alrighty. me. If you want to throw a big handful in. Now, do you need to use a corn beer uh, whiskey, pardon me, in order to make this drink? No, you can use any whiskey, but actually most whiskeys um, are that are made based. here in Canada are made from corn. Interesting. And to be considered, so that's about a shot. Okay. To be considered a corn whiskey, it has to be made from mostly Ontario corn. Okay. And um, has to be aged in Canada for a minimum of three years. Wow. The interesting things you find out about whiskey. So this is sparkling white cranberry. We're just going to add right. the splash. It's about four ounces. Four ounces. And can these recipes be found on your website as well? Yes, they can. Awesome. So I'll get you to put a little bit of ice in the bottom okay. of our glasses to get ready. So then we'll just shake this up. It smells really good anyways. It smells very refreshing already. It's waking me up a little bit this morning. And we have some of that San Pellegrino that's yep. flavored with lemon there. And I'll sort of pour this over, strain out that ice. Oh, so the raspberry kind of decomposes yep. a little bit and crumbles in there. Hopefully that I... looks so good. Mm. It smells very refreshing mm -hmm. as well. And what's nice about this drink, and I'll get you just to top off the rest there. The whole thing? Yep, on either one. Most, um, when you think of a whiskey, you sort of think of your sipping whiskeys. This right. is a great way, you know, for your friends and girlfriends to enjoy. Maybe someone who doesn't enjoy. exactly always like the, the mm -hmm. like, because it's very strong. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. You can't even taste, this is dangerous as well, because you can't even taste the whiskey at all. It tastes it's like a summer refreshing drink it with is. a touch of raspberries. It is, and the calling of whiskey is flavored oh. with maple syrup, so you get okay. a bit of that sweet in there with the raspberries. So good. It's really Lethal. good. Lethal. Lethal. <laughs> So the next recipe we're going to do is using this wheat beer. And I've never really considered mixing beer with other ingredients, so this is an interesting combo for me. It is. It's sort of a newer thing. Um, if you go on Pinterest, there's tons of different recipes for using all sorts of different types of beer. Cool. I like the wheat beer. It's already um, sort of naturally fruity. Okay. Um, so to play up on those flavors. Okay. Um, and the wheat is a really soft flavor. Uh, it's, it's a great drink. I'll get you awesome. to grab some of our strawberries. Strawberries this time and just put them in there. Yep. Okay. That's Oopsies. great. And I'm going to get you to put in about a big scoop of that sugar there. A big scoop of sugar. The sugar is going to help the strawberry flavor come through. Okay. Just pour it in. Yep. And then we're going to pour the beer in over top slowly. Okay, interesting. And, uh, you know, That's if so cool. you're getting ready for your barbecue or your summer party, you're going to want to put this in the fridge for a little bit. Okay. Just to let all those flavors kind of men like mingle yeah, together. Yeah, mingle, come together, let the sugar do its job with the strawberries. Wow. It will be really foamy because of that extra sugar it's that's in It's kind of remind there. me of a beer sangria a little yeah. bit is what it's looking like. Okie dokie. So a wheat beer traditionally is more cloudy as well. Okay. And you can even see that already um, through oh, there. Right. So can we pour this? Yes, Typically we you can. would let you it sit. Let it but sit. You want to give it a big stir, but okay. we'll be all right. Throw it in here. Oh, it is <laughs> gonna have quite a sip of beer. I'm probably <laughs> pouring this wrong. No, you're doing a good no. job. Yeah, when you, you pour beer, you always want to try and, you know, put the, the lip of the bottle okay, to the side of your glass. Okay, maybe I'll try this one here. Yeah. There we go. We'll just give it a little sip. Give that a try. 
Oh my goodness, that is delicious. That almost tastes like dessert in a cup, but you still have that beer flavoring. Mm -hmm. So good. So all of these recipes can be yep. found on the website as well? Yes, they can. It's www.gfo.ca. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.